Welcome to another episode of Geek Bros Talk. This time we are coming to you from my lovely scenic living room. <laughs> Me and my bro just finished up some badass Korean fried chicken. Check that out. I'm going to be dealing with that later, but... <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna geek out a little bit here on something a little different and that is music particularly records which i have my growing collection behind us here wow so how many records are we talking about here this is 100 i just cataloged everything i've got like a little spreadsheet that has uh everything i'm collecting um, and items that I want to collect on a wish list. And before you know it, all of this is going to be filled up and I'm going to have to buy a bigger shelf. <laughs> so how did you start geeking out over records? With records, I mean, I've always really liked music. You know, going to shows, following bands, even playing myself. I've got my electric violin right over here. What? Okay. Cool. But with records in particular, like in today's day and age, you can stream anything, right? You got Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all of that. But I like going back and there's something nice about having physical media. And a lot of this goes, I mean, it's how bands are still making money, you know? And there's just so much more to it as well because, you know, streaming something, you can kind of like pick and choose. And I've been going back and listening to albums start to finish. Mm -hmm. Because, like, that's the way the artist intended. You know, they're trying to tell a story, spread a message. And that's something you really don't get quite as much these days. Yes. And the whole process of, you know, actually having physical media for people who aren't old enough. It's just something about, you know, like taking a record out of his sleeve, putting on the record player, mm -hmm. and just listening to all the imperfections that are in it as well. Right. It's just something. And can you show us some of your favorites or just, you know, yeah. show us some of your records? Yeah. So, let's see, this is a more modern one, but this is Carpenter Brutes Trilogy. Cool, look at that cover. Right, and that's something else too, like the attention and work people put into all of this. I mean, look, that's something you're not going to get otherwise. Wow. So how would you replicate that in a digital format? You can't when you're no. downloading that. I mean, what, they'll send you like, oh, here's a poster, a, you know, wallpaper. It's like, no, <laughs> this, this is part of it. Like it's, there's just so much to the experience. So how many records are in that particular This album? one is three. Wow. And for those of you who don't know, Carpenter Brute, they are, they fall in that kind of synth wave outrun genre of music that's becoming popular. Like mm -hmm. they take a, so much of the 80s synthesizers and they actually take John Carpenter's scores. And John Carpenter is, for people who don't know? He made Halloween. I mean, he is yes. one of the best directors out there. Yes. And I mean, like, look at his catalog. He's just phenomenal. And that's crazy that he took his music from a horror master and put it in a record. Mm -hmm. And like listening through to this album, like you hear so much of that, so much of like that ambient creeping and like how he builds tension mm -hmm. and uh, it's fantastic. So can you show us your actual record player as well? Yeah. So this is my little setup. I've got an Audio Technica. This is my uh, LP60 and I've got the Bluetooth version, which I never use, but it's there for anyone who wants it. And this one's an automated one too. So all you gotta do is hit start. And what's the difference between an automated and a manual one? With a manual one, the belt will start to spin, and but the arm will, you have to manually place the arm on. Yes. Which you can still do this here, but you know, it's got a little bit of convenience. And what my brother was saying is, if it was not an automatic, you would have to manually put the arm on the actual record itself. And then I've got my speaker set up over here. So it's nice, you know, it's taking the time. This helps me relax, you know, come home after a long day of work, toss on a record and just, <laughs> just let it go, you know? Yeah. There it is right there. And my brother, he does like physical media. He even has videos. He has 
uh, lots of books. He's an avid reader as well. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of goes along with that. There's just really something about having a physical media where you just pick up and play, pick up and read, you know, and I don't know. I, I think what my brother said suits it best. It's the whole purity, you know, it's just something about it mm -hmm. that I absolutely love. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, other forms of media have come and gone. Mm -hmm. CDs are forgotten, you yeah. know. Like, that's completely dumb. No one's gonna miss that. Mm -hmm. Cassettes were cool. A lot of people still hold on to that, and I get it, you know? Mm -hmm. They ha they still have their old setups in their cars and everything. And once again, it's different, right? Yeah. But something else about records, you're just getting so much more with it. And even with today's technology, like, you won't beat the audio fidelity on a good record setup. Mm -hmm. Just because digital music goes through so much compression mm -hmm. and you do end up losing some of that in translation yep but with records going back i mean you hear everything and another thing i do enjoy about having media like this is that uh there's also a lot of emotion because mm -hmm. when you're opening it up you're probably thinking of when you bought it what you were oh, doing yeah. at that time what other things you were thinking about so, yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Yeah, and I've even got a little uh, setup on my side here so I can put up and display the record that's playing at the moment, too. Nice. And this one in particular, I also really like. This is uh, Got a Girl, and this is a combination of Dan the Automator and Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Ooh. And once again, for those of you who don't know the names, Dan the Automator is a legend. He is a producer who's worked with Deltron 3030, he's worked with, <clears throat> who else, um, Gorillaz, he's uh, Depeche Mode, I mean, <laughs> there's more that's not coming to me right now, but he's good. Yeah. And Mary Elizabeth Winstead, she was actually Ramona Flowers in the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World movie. Nice. <laughs> so, was there anything else that you want to talk about records and your collection in general? I mean, we've already gone over just how it makes you feel, like mm -hmm. all of the emotions and everything that run through to you. And there's this uh, saying that a lot of people who start getting into it, mm -hmm. they're like, people ask like, oh, what drew you into records? It's, oh, the price and inconvenience. <laughs> and it's kind of true. I mean, this ends up in today's world, you know, space is a commodity, mm -hmm. but it's worth it to have this, you know, like just to thumb through your collection and be like, oh yeah. Records are back in vogue. They yes. are selling and people are making a return to it for a reason mm -hmm. Everything we just outlined here. I mean if you really love your music and you want to Start getting into it. There are great communities and check out your local record shops. Mm -hmm. See what they got on. I mean It's going down in experience okay, so. so thanks for tuning in checking us out guys be sure to like comment and subscribe and We'll be back to hit you up with more geeking out. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode and as always if you like these videos be sure to click on the subscribe button and for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.